ಪ್ರಮಶ್ರವಸ್ತವ ಜ್ಯೇಷ್ಠರಾಜ್ರಹ್ಮಣ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣಸ್ಪತ ಆರಶ್ಮನ್ನೋತಿ ಬಿಸ್ಸೀರ ಸಾಧನ ಮಹಾಗಣಪತ The Centenary of the Ramakrishna Mission Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram, Melguria. About a hundred years ago, a brilliant young college student from a middle class family was searching for a path in life leading to spirituality. He was trying to delve into the divine aspects of life through bhakti sadhana. His mind was full of queries on life and the universe. This young boy was Shurendranath Mukhopadhyay. In course of time, he became Brahmachari Anadi Chaitanya, later known as Swami Nirvedananda. He is the founder and life force of this Belghuria Ramakrishna Mission Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram. Young Surendranath used to write different spiritual doubts on small pieces of paper and keep them behind the photo frames of the gods in his house his idea was to send the letters to god to get answers to his questions yes shurendranath miraculously got his letters answered one day shurendranath came to know from his students that a monk of the belurbat invited him for a visit with keen eagerness surendranath reached belurmat there he met swami premananda a monastic disciple of thakur sri sri ramakrishna paramahansa deva thakur used to hold swami premananda as a part of sri radha strangely at the very first sight premananda ji greeted surendranath as a long lost dear one surendranath was swept away by amazement when swami premananda started answering all those questions he wrote on pieces of paper that was a precious moment when surendranath found himself being immersed in the divinity of thakur sri ramakrishna ma sarada devi and swami vivekananda in 1913 surendranath set up a students home and started teaching a few students at a rented accommodation at jeliapara lane in kolkata In 1916 he decided to join the order of the Ramakrishna Mission and thought of establishing the Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram. In 1917 the Ramakrishna Ashram was shifted to 119 by 1 Corporation Street. By this time the number of students had increased and the ashram was expanded. For the next 6 years it functioned from these premises. On the 24th of December 1920 Swami Brahmananda ji had stepped into these premises for the first time Since then every year this day has been observed as a special day for the ashram During his first meeting with Swami Premananda Swami ji told Surendranath you are blessed because you are born in the land of Thakur Ramakrishna and you have seen Ma Sharada Muni see you prepare and shape the clay and we will put our seal on it do you know how to mold clay it's by honest work honest thought and honest association Surendranath followed this instruction throughout his life from the clay prepared by him innumerable students and monks have been shaped who followed the spiritual doctrines of Thakur Ramakrishna Ma Saradamani and Swami Vivekananda Shariramadhyam karu dharma sadhanam iti 
The Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram got the blessing of the holy appearances of Swamis Brahmananda, Shivananda, Turiyananda, Saradananda, Akhandananda and Vigyananda Ji. Even to this date, the ashram is highly protected with the powerful holy talisman given to it by the beloved monastic disciples of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna. Swami Vivekananda had appointed Swami Saradananda Ji as the secretary of the Ramakrishna Martin Mission. He proposed to Swami Nirvedananda to integrate his ashram with Belurmat. The Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram is an important branch of the Ramakrishna Mat and Mission. Swami Shivananda Ji named the Ashram of Surendranath as Ramakrishna Mission Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram. The ambit of the ashram was extending day by day. Swami Vishokananda and Swami Santoshananda joined the ashram. Swami Nirvedananda with his followers remained unflinchingly attached to his ideals of knowledge, bhakti and karma. Although he could organize food for his followers and inculcate knowledge in them, Nirvedanandaji was worried about their spiritual growth. He got the answer of his question from Swami Turiyanandaji, a monastic disciple of Thakur Ramakrishna. He firmly told him, I tell you, Thakur himself will be there to look after the spiritual welfare of the students. Swami Nirvedanandaji was relieved. After changing locations many a time, the ashram finally settled in 1954 to the present sprawling lush green premises. It was witness to the turbulent days of the Second World War, the freedom struggle, the famine and the partition of India for 25 years. For the sustenance of the ashram, the inmates had to cross many a hurdle, but they steadfastly adhered to the ideals and doctrines of the ashram. In 1923, the ashram was shifted to 6 by A, Bakaroy Street. Many eminent personalities of Bengal, like Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose, Shama Prashad Mukhopadhyay, and college mate of Swami Nirvedanandaji, Dr. Meghnath Saha, visited the premises of the ashram. From this house, the monthly journal Jugobani was published in 1923. In 1926, it was renamed Vidyarthi. In 1932, the new address of the ashram was at Goripur, Dandam. After that, in 1941, the ashram, during the war, was again shifted to Hasnabad in Taki. In 1943, it was again shifted to number 20 Harinath Day Road. The ashram continued to exist here for a long period up to 1954. From 1945 to 1954, Swami Nirvedanandaji Maharaj continued to stay with some of his student followers in the garden house of Ram Shur of Shodhpur. আমাদের রামবাবু সাপোর্টে পরে সেটা উঠে যায় রামবাবু বললেন যে ওসব করতে হবে না আমি খরচা দেব কত কতগুলো রুম ছিল মহারাজ রুম মনে নেই তিন তলা বাড়ি ছিল এক তলাতে তো খাবার ঘর রান্না ঘর এইসব আর দু তলা তিন তলা থাকা In the northern side of the Dandam airport at Goripur, in a vast area, the new Vidyarthi Ashram was set up, which could have been its permanent address. But during the Second World War, the government of India acquired the land. In the month of April 1950, in a sprawling land of 38 acres at Belghuria, construction began for the Ramakrishna Mission Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram. 
On the 14th of April 1954, Swami Shankaranandaji Maharaj consecrated the images of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna, Ma Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda in a splendid, peaceful and sacred place inside a beautiful, solemn temple. In this sacred temple, the inmates of the ashram and devotees of Thakur pray and worship the Holy Trinity every day. With the divine blessings of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna, Ma Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda and with financial and other forms of support of many well-wishers, the cherished mission of the Founding Fathers was gradually taking shape. In 1957, the foundation stone of Ramakrishna Mission Shilpupit was laid and on the 25th of July 1958, Swami Madhamanandaji Maharaj, the then General Secretary of the Ramakrishna Matan Mission, inaugurated the Ramakrishna Mission Shilpupit. On the 13th December 1959, Professor Humayun Kabir inaugurated the Shilpupit. At present, it is a government-sponsored polytechnic college offering technical courses in civil, mechanical, electrical and other disciplines. On the occasion of the birth centenary of Swami Vivekananda, the Vivekananda Shatabdi Jayanti Bhavan was established, developed with financial assistance of the central and the state government. It houses a library and an assembly hall. Swami Nirvanananda Ji Maharaj inaugurated this building. From the inception of the ashram, the founding fathers took the vow to be self-reliant, emulating the ideals of ancient Indian Brahmacharya. The inmates of the ashram wanted to be self-sufficient in agricultural farming, fisheries and dairy. This ancient practice of the Brahmacharis of India helps inculcate exceptional human qualities through self-sufficiency. All these enrich us to gain confidence in ourselves. We get the joy of working together in teams and understand the dignity of labor. We develop a sense of well-being in the joyful universal welfare. The Temple of Sri Ramakrishna, built in 1938 at Belur the architect was Swami Vigyananandaji, a monastic disciple of the great master. Swamiji, in his childhood, used to live in a house at 108 Feeder Road, Belgoria. In this house, Vigyananandha Smriti Bhavan was founded under the auspices of the mission, which was inaugurated on the 22nd of December 1989 by the then president, Srimad Swami Bhuteshanandaji Maharaj. The Kolikata Vidyarthi Ashram follows the teachings of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna, serving humanity like serving God, in services and relief work for humanity. The ever-vigilant young inmates of the ashram, as dedicated servants of God, press themselves into instant action to provide relief and alleviate sufferings of the victims. Remaining publicity shy for all-round development of the extremely poor local children Many noble inmates are silently spending their personal time to impart education and spread knowledge amongst them. They are thus offering silent services to humanity as services to God. Acknowledging the prophetic divinity of Swami Nirvedanandaji Maharaj, the enlightened Brahmagya Swami Shivanandaji Maharaj had once commented, you have become one with us. Nirvedanandaji felt that a healthy body is needed for the mental and spiritual development. So he put importance to games and sports for the boys of the ashrama for the simultaneous enrichment of their treasure of mind. At present, 
110 residential inmates get an opportunity to participate in outdoor games in the lap of nature in the large lush green fields of the ashram. A remarkable feature is that all the boys surpass all kinds of religious barriers and live together being bound by the golden twine of brotherhood for their spiritual upliftment. And life in the student's home with Swami Nirvedanandaji, Asheshanandaji and uh, Vishwakanandaji, well, what to be lead to know. It was all, there was full of rules, regulations, discipline, etc. But there is a different atmosphere created. You don't feel that you are doing duty while cutting grass or cutting vegetable or cooking. No, you don't feel. Or washing the kitchen. You don't feel. We all have to do everything ourselves. But as if it is a music, everything went on so well. Since 1917, no matter where the ashram has been shifted to, the festival of Kali Puja has been celebrated without a break. Swami Nirvedanandaji Maharaj wanted the students to get full opportunity to blossom out as an independent self, to develop their high thoughts and perception even in their ordinary course of life under the ambit of the rules and regulations of the ashram. Swamiji's doctrine of simple living, high thinking, maximum freedom and minimum restraint is still all pervading in the ashram. While the students meditate and pray, they also upkeep the premises on their own. The ashram which sprouted a century ago has grown into a huge tree, blossoming beautiful flowers and bearing the sweetest fruits. Om, 
The ashram and the students have not deviated from the path of self-reliance. The edifying and illuminating thoughts and teachings of Thakur Sri Ramakrishna, Ma Sarada Devi and Swami Vivekananda flow incessantly like sea waves through the ashram. Oh, my God.